Welcome, folks. We ended down industrials. Finish up 405. NASDAQ up 469. S&P's up 75. We get some real juice out here happening. It is on light of volume. I expect this a counter trend bounce, but I expect we're also going to go higher. We had the NASDAQ up 3.4%. We had the S&P up 1.4%, and the Dow Industrials up 1.1%. Gold. Gold contract uh, was uh, trading up $12 at a price point of uh, $17.98. Silver up 19 cents, twenty-two dollars forty-nine cents. Late sweet crude up a buck forty-six, eighty-eight dollars twenty-eight cents a barrel. Oil, folks, 107's game, 114's game. That's where this thing is going. Notes and bonds, the 10-year note flat, 127.31, the 30-year down nine at 155.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up. So if we get follow through lower in King Dollar, that's gonna be a false break top side. King Dollar's down 635 ticks today. 96, 635, that is back inside its lower range. Um, you don't see a lot of these, particularly after long consolidation. The dollar kept continuing. It's grinding higher, 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 and has been for you know a couple of years. This was, a, this was a decent break. The break had the wide price spread. Now, we don't have volumes on the dollar or any currency, so it's a little bit harder to really understand, okay, where everyone is. That being said, technically, you broke, it broke down, it came back inside the range. If you get a follow through, that's telling me that the dollar is gonna go from 96 to 89. Yeah, it might take a year, year, two year and a half, two years, I suspect. Bottom line, that'll be the end of the move, you're going lower. That'd also be saying that the euro is going higher, it's up 83 ticks today. The pound is going higher, it's up 47 ticks. And it'll be saying the yen is going lower, it's just down 20. All of those did that today, the yen went lower, Pound went higher, euro went higher. So it's going to be interesting. We take a look at the broad market, what you have with the broad market. We take a look at the S&Ps. You get the bounce on. I expect you're going to get more juice on it too. 135 million shares, which is not bad, by the way. This is going to get interesting because now you get an acceleration up with volume. So this is going to be pretty cool. It's telling me we're going further, that's for sure. We talk about the 500. At the beginning of the show, bottom line, it's going to rip that apart. And I suspect what's game here is 473, and right now you're at 449. We take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the Qs. Qs uh, up 1125 today. Qs can uh, trade in 363. 378 is game inside the Qs. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.